<laughs> All right, so uh, tell me about you. What's going on with you? You know, it's it was one of those weeks. I didn't come back from vacation, so... Uh, <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah. So like the first thing was, like, I don't know if you know this, but I got a haircut and it's a, one of those lessons learned because it, there's, it's doing something over here. Well, it's doing a lot. <laughs> if you actually look at it, it's doing a lot. And that's because, you know, I, I just hate being so organized where I have to make an appointment for a haircut. So I go to a barber and just sit down Right. and I was kind of on a time crunch and I sat there for an hour and a half. And then I only had a half hour to go before I had to pick up one of my kids. Wait, you sat for an hour and a half waiting? Or? Waiting because they kept putting people in front of me. Oh, I'm surprised you didn't speak up because you're well, not Well, I did to... at that point oh, and okay. I shouldn't have because they were like, oh, well, we can have so-and-so do it. She'll do it. And it's like a small room and I couldn't say no because that'd be rude, right? Yeah. So I sit down and they're like, oh yeah, she doesn't really know how to cut hair. So she started hacking away and then she says to me, oh, you know, I just hate it when you're like cutting someone's hair and it just is not turning out. <laughs> Literally said that to me. And then she said, oh, you know what? I don't think it's me. I think it's your hair. Oh. You're just going to have to use a lot of product. And then she went to the barber and asked a question and he did not want to help her. And he just like screamed, finishing shears. Okay. Where is, do you want to give <laughs> the name of it? it? I don't want to say it. <laughs> I don't want to say. Okay. I just, I uh, will let me say, ask you this. if Did you are in a barber you? shop and the, and the receptionist decides to pick up the clipping <laughs> shears, just say no, I'll come back. Did it cost you less than $15? No. Oh, are you sure? Yes. Okay. Because they raised the prices too. <gasps> so if you know of a good barber shop, <laughs> let me I know. I feel like I you need, need to, to let switch. it grow out for a little bit. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I need, well, and it's all uneven. My, my son was like, why is it so uneven in the back? I'm like, Oh, because okay, I need more Ruby. product. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> that fixes everything. And a different barber. And then I, uh, my house got hit by lightning, so I had to switch out the garbage disposal. So I had to do that on my own. I think we have some pictures there. So that, I, it was quite the celebration once I finally got in. It wasn't Is that working. you under the sink? Yes, I had to fix it. <laughs> Why do you take weird selfies like that when you're? <laughs> because I was so proud of myself. Can't, can't you just get like your kids to like take a video, like a nice video? <laughs> so there was that, and then I got home yesterday, and the air conditioning wasn't working, and my AC unit is in the attic. So I had to go up there for forty-five minutes. Oh my God, you look like a ninety-year-old. Well, I was a shriveled prune at the point. It was 120 degrees. And I had to go up there and fix the darn AC. What unit. was wrong with it? Um, do you know when you have a really bad cold and you get that mucus and you cough and it comes out and you pretend you like it's like not? You had to like shop vac that stuff? I had to like take apart the entire unit because it was clogged in, internally. Okay. And you I know, to, you yeah. know you can pay people for that, right? <laughs> well, if I can do it, I'm going to do it. Of course you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In fact, I think you get I, I think you get off on that kind of stuff. Well, I get off on it if I can save some money. Yeah. But if I make the problem worse, which sometimes happens. <laughs> you know just enough <laughs> to be dangerous. 